Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Check me out like this is the 70 tuning in. Thank you for watching Word from Wise, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode six. I call this one Darla's Return. Okay, let me tell you about Darla. Darla was a lady in her late 50s, maybe early 60s. Used to wear uh, uh, two-piece polyester dress suits and, uh, and a wig and always had some kind of big beautiful flower or brooch on her uh, lapel, okay? And she smoked long, some kind of long brown cigarette. Well, anyway, Darla was in a wheelchair, but before I get into Darla, just in case you don't know anybody in a wheelchair that catches the bus or, or have no idea what that's like, it can be a bit scary because when the, if the bus driver hits the brakes too hard, or or even if they don't hit the even if there's not an emergency stop or, or hitting the brakes too hard, just just a little harder than normal, the wheelchair and the person has their brakes on in the wheelchair. The wheelchair could tip forward, or if the bus driver is is is, is turning too sharp, too hard, the the wheelchair could flop over to, on its side, and so. If you're in a wheelchair, you're worried about falling, the chair falling over, or you flipping out of the chair. And so typically people that are in a wheelchair have to hang on for dear life. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of them suffer in silence because a lot of people have a negative attitude about passengers in wheelchairs to begin with. It's because it takes time for the ramp to come down. You know, it's at, at, deep, deep, deep. You gotta wait for the ramp to come down. Then you gotta wait for them to get in there. And then after they get in there, they they may or may not want securement. So, Darla was a person, I, I come to find out after I talked to her over the years, Darla was a person that had been harassed by bus drivers, asking for securement. Which securement is uh, these straps that are inside the bus that wrap around the frame of the wheelchair. So, uh, I think some chairs have like these little, these. Uh, I think I know. Some wheelchairs have these straps on them with a the little loop. And so then you put the, the hook of the strap of the securement strap of the bus on that hook or around the frame. And uh, I, I got lost there. I was like, I, was, I had a flashback. And so there's a there's a like a buckle and a like a like a wrench system, a ratchet system. The strap and, and you have to do that on each wheel. So that each, I mean, each for each wheel, you have to, you know, strap it down. So anyway, Darla gets on. Uh, I, I say, hi, how are you doing? And, she, you know, she's like, I'm fine. I want all four point securement, please. Thank you very much. I say, yes, ma'am, you got it. So I, I take my seatbelt off. I get out the seat, you know. And me, like I told y'all in other episodes, I wasn't a bus driver. I was a transit operator. So I had latex gloves balled up in my pocket. I took the latex gloves out automatically and put them on because sometimes the straps are dirty. And and and, and, and so I, I don't want to get take, take make the bus late by having to wash my hands, so I just put the latex gloves on. Now, I clean the straps when I do a pre-trip inspection. I know he's like, why don't you make sure that the straps is ready to go? Since it's American Disability Act, uh, a federal law for them to be to have securement ready and accessible and in good repair and good working order. If they do request it, it should be in working order. That's just something be something you suspect you should have to inspect, isn't it? And the answer is yes. But some point, sometimes when you get on the bus, you're not picking the bus up from the garage. You're picking it up from a relief point. Somebody, the bus is already in service. This pack has got people on it. And, 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 and you're not going to ask people to get up, 
Move all your bags. Move your this. The stroller got to go. Everything's got to go. And, and, and let me see. Lift up this seat and make sure all these straps are in working order before we go. I know we ten minutes late. Ain't a wheelchair in sight. But I gotta make sure. I know you're standing there. And you're uncomfortable, but and it's tight in here. There's a lot of people. But let me make sure. You're not gonna do that. You make the bus even later if you did all that, right? So sometimes it's a surprise. You get a bus, and then you get a passenger in a wheelchair, and then you have to secure them, and the securement is not working right. The straps, is just, it doesn't want to winch, or, or it's ripped, it's torn, or it's, it needs repair, it just, or it's got a whole bunch of debris on it. It's embarrassing. You, it's got this uh, little metal box with a, with a door with a hole in it. You pull the hole open, and, but you pull, put your finger in the hole, and you pull the door open, rather, and then you reach in there, and you get the strap with the hook on it. And sometimes there's a whole bunch of debris in there. Because, see, at night, they take this big, gigantic vacuum cleaner hose, and they put it over the door of the bus. And it sucks out. They don't do it every night. They're supposed to. And it, but it sucks, sucks, you know, debris out the bus. And sometimes debris goes into that little hole inside of that. And over time, if it hasn't been opened and cleaned up, it gets really, really gunky. And you don't want that rubbing up against their leg or anything like that. So anyway, I get up out the seat. And I get down. And I... One. And I'm squatting down. There's people like, oh, this is going to take forever. We're going to be late. Oh, here she goes. This wheelchair. Oh, wheelchair. 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 You know, and I'm going as fast as I can. I'm pretty fast. And I'm going as fast as I can. And I, I get to go. All right. Get back in there. It's only been about six, four or five minutes. All right. Put the seatbelt on. All right. Let's take the four-way flashes off. Did you know that the turn signals on the bus are not on up here on the wind, uh, up here on the uh, uh, steering wheel. There are these little two little pegs on the floor. There's one on the left and one on the right. You put your put your foot on the peg when you want to put your turn signal on. But it's okay, so I put my foot on the peg. I want to go left. I'm looking. I'm leaning. I'm looking. All right. I'm getting ready for traffic. Ding ding ding. That's the chime for the wheelchair. I'm like, oh, uh, did you accidentally uh? Brush up against the, uh, no, I went off at the next stop driver. <laughs> True story. After all that time, after all that security, getting it all together, yes, she went off at the very next stop. She'd get off at the next stop, light up a cigarette, take her own sweet time, and roll right back to the bus stop and wait on the next driver to do it again. And I hear her run and her Here's the kicker. Darla can walk! <laughs> She's in a wheelchair because she can't walk long distances. But she can walk, okay? But some drivers get really irate. There's been something that's been mad and passed her up. And she called in, wrote down the bus number, the line and train, which is the two, the four numbers in the front of the thing. She write that down. She called dispatch. She called in. She had dispatch's number. A friend and dispatch might have had their number, Okay. So yeah, she get back to the next but she 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 wheel back to the bus stop after you gone, wait on the next bus driver and do it again. And don't you dare complain and we don't care if you're late. We don't care if the bus is only going twenty miles an hour to begin with and no faster than that because it's an ice storm out here or a snowstorm out here. So the bus is gonna be stopping smoothly anyway. You're gonna be fine. She didn't care about nothing. She wanted all points securement, and she had an attitude about it. And I get that, that she's been through a lot. But Miss Darla is going to pop up in more of my bus stories. She's going to pop up at the wrong time. We already late. We got all this going on. Here come Darla. Okay. It's like, okay, we're going to be real late now, okay? All right. Thanks for listening to Episode 6, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street, Darla's Return. See you on the next one, y'all. Peace.